Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video, and it's going to be another double upload day because I've just opened my 82 times 25 pack and packed Foot Birthday Emery Chan. So you know I've got to do that review for you guys. We'll have a look at his in-game stats, see how he performs, and then justify if his price is about right at what is currently about 500k. So let's jump in. So starting off with this card, he's six foot one. He has five star skill moves and four star weak foot, so there's really not a lot to complain about there. He's going to be absolutely lovely in the middle of the park with that. Can go off either side because four, you know, four star weak foot this year is pretty much as good as five star was in previous years. And those five star skills, he's going to be able to get in and out of situations very easily. Looking at his stats, pace is 80. That acceleration is a bit low at 71, and the sprint speed takes it up with 88. That's a bit of a shame. If that was the other way about, that would be absolutely fine but the 71 is a little bit low, but nothing a shadow can't fix. Shooting's really nice, 84 attack position, 82 finishing, 92 shot power, 87 long shots, and I mean, if you're gonna use him as a center mid or CDM, the two you care about there are shot power and long shots, and they're both really nice. Passing's lovely, 86 vision's good. Crossing and free kick accuracy we don't really care about. Short pass and long passing, 91, 90. That's gonna be absolutely great. Dribbling, a little bit low on the agility front at just 80. 82 balance though, really good reactions, nice ball control, great dribbling, 90 composure, beautiful stuff. Defending is, you know, you're not going to get a lot better than that as a, as a base card, especially as a CDM, not a centre back. 89 deceptions, great, good heading accuracy, good awareness, great standing tackle, and a good slide tackle as well. And the physicals, again, super important on a CDM physicals. 91 jumping, he's going to win those headers from goal kicks. 92 stam, great. 90 strength, fantastic. 92 aggression, brilliant. Other key thing to point out, it does perfect link the SBC Royce. So that is, you know, to me, that's an absolute no-brainer of a card. If you, if you have got Royce and you can afford to go and buy this, I mean, I think you're going to be daft not to. Player traits... Flair trait as well on this, which is a bit of a surprise in Emery Chan, but we'll take it. That's that's a really nice trait to have on there, especially with the five-star skills on top as well. So, yeah, let's jump in and see how he performs in-game. So, the first thing to say about this card is he is just absolutely solid at everything. I have yet to find a fault with this card in the five or six matches I've played with him. He is strong. He has got great passing. He's quick. I, I absolutely love him. He reminds me a lot of Kessie, who is my other centre defensive mid that I use, in that you just know you can trust him on the ball, and he's going to be solid in the tackle, and yeah, he's just absolutely fantastic. I've really enjoyed using this card so far. So in terms of sort of individual stats, I'd say the key things that really stick out for me are his tackling, and more so than that, his passing is superb. It's like he's got sliders on. In terms of chem stars to use in this card, I was a bit um and ah in because you do want to get that pace up because that is the only, I'm not going to say downside because, you know, 80 pace is still decent for a centre mid, but that's the only sort of slight negative on it. Whether you go for an engine to boost the dribbling and get the passing absolutely perfect, or whether you go for a shadow and use him completely defensively, or again, you could even go for a hunter and play him as more of an attacking centre mid, that, that's up to you. I tried both hunter and engine and enjoyed them both. I was using him as an absolute box-to-box -box midfielder, but I can tell he would just be easily as good as just your holding, sitting back midfielder, stay back while attacking sort of role. But that being said, he's so good going forward, I think it's a shame to anchor him to that position. For me, he's a box-to-box -box and a 4-2-3-1, and I tell Kessie to sit back, and that dynamic was working really, really well for them. So yeah, his shooting's really good. As you see in these clips, he scores a couple of really nice goals for me. You know, 84 shooting is nothing to be sniffed at, you know, when it's a centre mid. His passing is superb, like I said, absolutely on sliders. Defensively, sound, really strong. You know, he's, he bullies people out of the way. The amount of times he just wins the ball back, his interceptions are great as well. He feels really agile for someone of that size. You know, when he also appears to be quite stocky, his agility really shocked me in just how good it was. You know, he's not Neymar, of course, but even when I compare him to Kessie on the other side for me, he's levels above in terms of on the ball. His dribbling is absolutely great in comparison. So for me, if you've got this Royce card and it's a perfect link, you have to spend the money to go out and get this card because he is absolutely superb. 
To give you an idea of just how much I rate this card, he's meant that I've dropped my road to the final Renato Sanchez, which, you know, for a lot of people, you know, a lot of pros use that card, and he is the be all and end all. And to me, I prefer Chan. So that, that's a big statement. Um, but yeah, he has been absolutely fantastic for me. So I can't really sing the praise of this card enough. Really good links because of the Royce card. Really great stats. And looking at it, it's not going to come in at too expensive. The card it is. When I looked when it first came out, it was around 500k. And I expect that to drop in all fairness. So yeah, for me, it's an absolute no-brainer. Go out and get this guy if you've got Royce. Or go out and get this guy and do Royce if you can. Because Royce is fantastic also. Because that is a perfect link between two cards that you're not going to get much better than those two until you're getting into team of the season territory. Both absolutely superb. So, yeah, that's all I can say, guys. That brings me to the end of the video. Hope it helps you decide whether to go out and get this card. If it does, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace.